Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to share with you guys my favorite hair care products of 2022. If you don't know who I am, I'm Devin. I am a licensed esthetician and beauty content creator and I would love it if you would subscribe and let's jump into the video. Can we talk about the irony that I am like one day away from hair wash day so my hair is not looking its best, but let's start with shampoos. I have been using the Briogeo Scalp Revival Charcoal and Coconut Oil Micro Exfoliating Shampoo since it launched and I bought this huge tub and I do get sent some PR from them but it's kind of sporadic so I usually end up buying a lot of their stuff myself and my husband is addicted to this as well because he is prone to getting flakes and I also am prone to getting flakes on my scalp and my hair can just kind of get like a little bit itchy also depending on how many curl refreshing products I've used throughout the week. So this is just really like the best. It has like this, you know, truly it's micro exfoliating. It has these little like sandy kind of bits and I find it really easy to work in and lather into the scalp and rinse clean. And we both start off every single shower where we are actually washing our hair with this. And I feel like this jumbo size with the pump is incredible for the shower and it's such a good value size as well but when it comes to hair care products i actually prefer to spend less money i prefer to get my products at like target or just drugstore pricing in general and so i would love it if any of the products that you see here if you have like a drugstore favorite that you think compares i would love to try it so definitely let me know below i still haven't found anything at the drugstore price or level that competes with this product and same with the hair mask which i'll talk about in a little bit but yeah let me know if you've tried anything like this at a better price point because i would love to try it but for the meantime, I will continue to spend on this because it's that good. So another important piece of information when it comes to my hair and what you should know is that while I don't dye my hair anymore, I have some hair dye kind of left at the bottom. I did wear my hair blonde for the five years that I was living in Dallas and this year decided, or I guess the end of 2022 decided to go back to darken it up and then to just let my natural hair color kind of grow in but i definitely noticed when i was doing the blonde that i was getting a lot more breakage all time hair care has really blown me away this year and they first launched with the recover and restore which is meant for color and chemically treated hair and this duo has a bond multiplier complex that helps repair and strengthen compromised hair also has shea butter and marine extracts to help lock in moisture and when this launched they hadn't launched the curly line yet and they actually launched it with like a moisture duo and i use these four five six weeks in a row i only wash my hair once a week and i noticed a huge difference in breakage and just overall like fallout of my hair so i've been really 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 impressed with these and i actually had dinner with naturia when i was in new york city and i was talking to the pr team that works also with saltera because it's part of the center brands and they were like your hair looks amazing and i was like it's never been this healthy and so i think these have really helped repair my hair after going back from blonde to brown this year and so what i like to do now because i'm going to talk about the curl line next is every i would say like every two to three washes i will use these after you know i use these initially six weeks in a row now i use them every two to three washes and i use the curl line at the other times so i really like this and i also noticed since i've started using these i haven't needed to use like k18 or my living proof bond repair kind of complex mask sort of situation but i do think that's great if you don't want to use like a shampoo and conditioner version of that so i'll talk about that a little bit later but these have changed my hair and i i'm just i'm really so impressed and i can't wait to see what else they do in the hair space i would love to see hair masks and like a whole line of hair products because the scents are also amazing so this duo has a new scent i'm gonna read it right off the site um so this is juicy pear jasmine and sandalwood jasmine and sandalwood are two of my favorite fragrance notes and a lot of my fragrances already have that incorporated 
and the pear I find to just be like really fresh and so I love the smell of these and I always get complimented when I use these or the curl line but I also find too if you're sensitive to fragrance these might be overpowering for you but I do find that these are less fragrance than the Kristen S hair products if you found those overwhelming these I find not to be, but you can smell them in store because now they're in Target, you can go and grab these. And I just think the price point on Salt Air Hair Care is just so impressive. These are $12 each. I mean, that's incredible. These are newly launched, but I've had a chance to use these for about six weeks now. And so I think I can properly talk about these as 2022 favorites. And I tried a lot of shampoo and conditioners from much more expensive brands that I didn't love this year that were sent to me. And these were sent to me all in PR, but I will 100% spend $12 on each of these bottles. I also just love the packaging. The scents are incredible. So the curl line, has the pink beach scent which is the body oil that i'm obsessed with that if you've seen my you know recent favorites i think from like november i talked about that but the scent for this and that body oil which is pink beach is coconut almond blossom and vanilla these smell so beachy like summer forever so beautiful and these have I'm going to butcher this, but Babasu oil, Murumuru, linseed, and chia seed provide definition while taming for its hydrating and adding luminous shine. So when it comes to shampoo for curly hair, you have to have something that's going to have a really great slip to it. And what does that mean? It means that, you know, when you use a shampoo and it feels like dry and you're having a hard time kind of like detangling and working your fingers through your hair, this has fantastic slip to it and so that is a big difference i find too with the other on curl focused products is that these have incredible slip and the conditioner too it's not super heavy even though it has those like butters and oils i don't find it weighs my curls down i tried the briojo curl line and that for example was a really thick like buttery sort of texture that weighed my curls down and I think it would work if you had a more oily or kinky texture but for like two I think two c three a curls like mine I think something that's a little bit lighter weight works better and so I love this conditioner for that exact reason like I said this has fantastic slip and this has like the perfect weight to it where it's not too heavy but it's also not too light of a conditioner either i like something kind of in the middle and this checks all the boxes for me so i have one more product to talk about in terms of cleansing and this is a cleansing shampoo by pattern beauty and they're a fantastic line they're at ulta and you can get them at ulta's within targets this is twenty dollars and this is great if you want to use it for example with this where this shampoo doesn't have an amazing slip and i need that slip to be able to detangle my hair again i only wash my hair once a week so i need to be able to work through it in the shower without breaking it because your hair is more prone to breakage when it's wet this gives such a fantastic clarifying deep clean so on weeks where i've used a lot of dry shampoo or like volume spray I tend to reach for this or when I'm using this line because again it doesn't have that slip. This is just really really effective at deeply cleansing but it doesn't strip your hair or make it feel like straw and it has fantastic slip which is so important in a curly shampoo and this is the best clarifying shampoo I've ever tried for specifically for curly hair. It is incredible and 100% worth the price. And again, because it's not something you use every week, I don't mind the price. I probably go through, you know, two, maybe three of these an entire year. So totally, totally worth it in my opinion. Another Briogeo favorite, and I have not been able to find a drugstore level mask that also competes with this one. Again, curly hair masks tend to be really thick and rich, filled with like oils and butters that weigh my curls down. This is a really lightweight hair mask, and I haven't found anything at an affordable price that competes with this, but I'm kind of feeling like 2023 is gonna be the year that I am on the hunt to find something else that I like at a more affordable price point. So if you have tried anything that you love at drugstore level that would be similar to this, let me know below because I would love to know. But I do think this is fantastic for all hair types. 
whether you have curly hair or very thin hair, fine hair, straight, whatever, this is a fantastic hair mask all around. And like I said, I had tried the Briogeo, their other hair mask specifically for curly hair. It weighed my hair down. So this has been my go-to for, again, like five years. And they have sent me some in PR, but I purchased the big tub because I had none. And this is such a great price point already at the value size. But then when you tack on like the Sephora sale at 20% off, it's such a good deal for the size. And yeah, can't recommend this one enough. I touched on this earlier, but since I started using the Saltaire Restore and Repair Shampoo and Conditioner, I don't feel like I've needed a specific bond repairing complex. I do think that this one by Living Proof is fantastic and it's much more affordable than K18 and I saw similar results with them. So I think this is a great option if you don't want to incorporate a whole new shampoo and conditioner from Saltaire in your routine and you just want a really easy product to use. This I find is also much easier to use than the K18, which is like it's a whole process to use that product. Whereas this, you just apply two pumps to clean, damp hair, comb through. You try to wait 10 minutes before you, you know, do anything, but it's just much simpler. And I find this doesn't like weigh your hair down like K18. So I think this is a fantastic option again, if you don't want to incorporate the Saltaire Duo and you're looking for a bond repair kind of product. I use a leave-in conditioner and again, Pattern Beauty, they've just really killed it. I love this. Again, I love that they have mini sizes, regular sizes, and then they have like jumbo sizes with a pump. I like anything that's going to be efficient. I mean, this will take me two years to go through. I'm about right here. So I'm kind of like a year through this. This is just like a really beautiful, I would say mid-weight leave-in conditioner. So it's not going to be like a spray type situation. It's going to be, you know, like a thicker cream, but it's Again, not too thick, not too heavy or like buttery, oily type of texture. It's really, really beautiful texture and I always feel like my curls look much more defined and have that added moisture to them when I use this prior to styling. When it comes to styling my hair, there have sort of been two standout products this past year that I have reached for nonstop. And the first up is the Kristen S Volumizing Mousse. I go back and forth between mousses and gels, but I like to use a gel and a cream, or I like to use a mousse and a cream. And so this year I just was really drawn to this, especially once I cut my hair shorter because I just love like the extra volume that I get when I use this. If you use this on pretty damp hair and I would let my hair air dry for about an hour and then I would diffuse and my curls and the volume would just be so fantastic. And again, this is such a great, drugstore price point and easily accessible. You can get it at Target. So I just really love this. This is for all hair types, volume boosting, body building, lasting hold. And again, I only wash my hair once a week. This lasts me all week. I barely have to do any sort of touch-ups. I just usually use water and I'll show you a couple other things I use to restyle, but really you don't need much to kind of restyle with this. The next product I actually don't have in my arsenal right now, which is kind of crazy. I actually do have a travel size of it. I should pull that out, but I'm going to put a picture of it up here. It's the Moroccan oil curl cream. I was gifted like three or four creams this year and I'm trying them and truly just nothing has compared to this. It's one of those things where like the other ones are fine. So I'm kind of using them up because I don't want to be wasteful, but I don't think they're my favorites. So that's just like a total content creator problem where, you know, I don't want to be wasteful. I'm going to use them up, but I kind of really, really miss my favorite and I'm going to go out and repurchase the Moroccan oil one. That one I discovered many years ago and I just feel like it's one of the few curl creams I can actually use alone if I have to. And it, my hair looks fantastic with it when I wear it, you know, alone without a mousse or a gel. So I love that. It just has great hold, but it's not too strong. It also works on varying levels of hair dampness. If you have curly hair, you totally get this, that like when your hair is super wet, it still works really well and gives great hold. But if my hair is like a little bit too dry and I haven't added more water to it before styling, it also still looks really good, but doesn't give that like sticky, heavy, gross feeling. So I love that curl cream. It's not the extra thick cream. It's like the regular one. They sell it in a mini tube at Sephora and then they also have like a taller um, pump. So definitely going to repurchase that one because it's really, really good. And 
when it comes to kind of like restyling my hair i used to have all different kind of like mists and sprays and i just sort of found that like i can use water and reactivate a lot of the product in my hair but i do like to use a couple of different dry shampoos and a texture spray to kind of like add some volume so my two favorite dry shampoos look i haven't even taken this off yet i just purchased a new Kristen S. Burnett dry shampoo. I love the original, but since she launched the Burnett, I haven't gone back. You can see it has the brown top. It is the best. It definitely have a, has a stronger scent. I think all of her products, minus the fragrance free line, have you know a pretty strong scent, but I don't mind it. And I just love how this leaves a really clean feeling, but it delivers the most insane volume that I can't get enough of. And I think it's fantastic if you are a brunette, but definitely check out the regular version. And again, this would be amazing for all hair types, textures. Obviously check out the regular one if you are not a brunette, but I love that this is dark and I don't have like a white shadow in my hair now that I'm a brunette again, you know? So really, really love this. And it comes in a travel size. So I actually always have a travel size in my travel bag. And I love, love, love that. All of these other products have travel sizes as well. My other favorite that I fell in love, I think this was re this one was relaunched in 2021. And I actually bought the mini and I have a mini still. But this is fantastic. I love this. I didn't love their original dry shampoo. This is a Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Advanced Clean. First off, I find that this does not have nearly as strong of a scent. That other scent, my husband was like, this makes me almost sick. It's so strong. So this doesn't have as much of a scent, but this also gives incredible volume. And I know there's a lot of Living Proof fans out there, so I wanted to share because I really do enjoy this one as well as the Kristen S one. It just doesn't leave any kind of residue that irritates my scalp. And it just feels so clean. Like I can kind of just work it through and it, it feels really, really clean right away. And I cannot stand dry shampoos that make my hair almost feel dirtier like two days later. So I really, really like this one. And I think it's a really fantastic option as well if you are a living proof fan or you want something like more high end i have another texture spray from living proof that i fell in love with i bought a mini of this and they actually sent me these full sizes but i originally bought a mini of this to try it because i wanted something where for instance I get a lot of really great volume at the beginning of the week, but I wanted something where I could spray in and just add some added volume, you know, like basically towards the end of the end of the week. And this can make my hair look like day three or four hair when it's actually day six or seven. And so the best part is you just kind of like spray underneath and kind of work it in and you can feel it feels a little wet at first and you kind of let it dry. And the best thing you can actually do is Put your head upside down i put it in like a very loose pineapple and added volume like kind of immediately it is so great and again it's even better when you can like put your hair in a little pineapple on top and let it kind of do its thing for even just 10 minutes and huge volume again i get all that volume back and i love that it also has a great smell and it gives like good texture. So I don't care as much about the texture piece, but I know a lot of people who, you know, kind of like need that texture and yeah, already so much more volume. It's truly, really so good. I don't know how they do it. I don't know, understand the technology. I'm a skincare makeup person, but I always want to share my hair care stuff because I've tried so many brands and so many high-end brands. See, that's already so much more volume than it was before and it would be so much better. It hasn't even like finished fully drying. Love it. Okay, so I have one more texture spray that I wanna talk about and I've been a fan of this forever. I've never gotten PR from this brand. I always keep a mini and I travel with it religiously. This is the best summer texture spray. This is Beach Club by IGK. This is kind of like a salt spray meets texture spray. It smells incredible like the beach. Ugh, like straight coconut. It's so good. And the packaging is so cute, but I also just love that they have that travel size because again, I bring this on vacation and what I'll do is I will put 
the mousse and this through my hair while they're wet and let them air dry and I just get like volume, texture, beachy, curly waves. Stunning. It's so good. I just, it's great also like refreshing and adding texture to dry hair. It works on wet hair. It's just, it's beautiful and I just feel like every other salt spray that I've tried made my hair feel sticky and crunchy like I wanted to wash it. This never feels like anything in my hair. It is incredible and I highly recommend checking it out if that sounds like something that would be a fit for your hair. I think this is everything. So that was it for products that I applied to my hair but I did want to share some of my favorite tools that I think would be helpful if you have curly hair. So first up is the Dyson diffuser and I do think more diffusing options have come out. They have the shark pattern just launched a diffuser that looked really great but there weren't a lot of options back when I originally got this. My husband and my mother-in-law actually bought this for me. Right when it launched I would say probably six months after I waited for a bunch of reviews to come in and this changed my hair. It's just the combination of the low heat and the way this blows the air, my hair is just so much less frizzy and more defined and my husband immediately noticed a difference in how much better my hair looked when I introduced this. So if you're looking for a diffuser or wondering if the Dyson is worth it for curly hair, again because I only use it once a week, I'm going on like year 7 and this still works perfectly. I think it definitely won't last as long for people who are you know, blow drying every day or every other day, but for once a week, this thing, I'm getting my money's worth. I'm getting my money's worth for sure. I did my due diligence, but I have no regrets about having this in my life. Truly, it's so good. Next, I just wanted to share the importance of a microfiber towel. I think the Diva towels are great. This is do to do a well tressed towel, which is also fantastic. I have probably three or four on hand once they kind of get gross because they eventually turn kind of hard from when you're, you know, Kind of drying your hair and you have product they get kind of crusty even when you wash them so you can kind of like toss them out and get one or two new ones every couple of years i love that i think they're totally worth it you can also use a t-shirt if you you know don't want to buy this t-shirts are great but i never put my hair on a regular old towel so just another pointer for people who are maybe newer to curly hair and still navigating that which is very stressful i don't use like any special type of comb i have the pattern one which is beautiful and there's a lot of nice wide tooth combs but this is the only thing i never ever ever brush my hair i mostly just use my fingers in the shower to gently work through when i have you know that really slippy shampoo in my hair and use a wide tooth comb when i get out of the shower at that point my hair is already detangled but you don't need anything fancy this was like a dollar fifty at target several years ago i was hunting for a shower cap that could actually fit all of my hair and kristen s actually dm'd me on instagram and said you have to try this one by kitsch and I have fallen in love with this thing. I've had it three years now. So it is still fully functioning and working. It fits all of my hair. Like, look at how big this is, you guys. Fits. I have a large head too. So it fits my head and my hair, $24. You can get it at Ulta or on their site, but it is so good. They have a bunch of different really cute colors too. I'm just kind of looking. But this is meant to, you know, whether you have really long hair or really voluminous hair, just a lot of hair in general, this is fantastic. It really just like seals everything in. I've never ripped it or had any leaks. I've had this so long now and because I only wash my hair once a week, I have six days of the week where I have to wear this in the shower to protect my hair and keep it dry. And this has never failed me and I highly, highly recommend this if you are looking for a really reliable shower cap that can fit your hair and get your money's worth. It's totally, totally worth it and probably my most prized possession when I travel, I have to have this and my husband will look at me and be like, oh no, did you forget your shower cap? If we go somewhere he knows how important it is because I just don't want to let like the humidity in the shower to like ruin my curls it really just protects my hair so good I would love to hear your thoughts below what you look for in hair care because I do think my hair care strategy is a little bit different from my skincare or makeup when it comes to hair care I find that most of the products that I use I prefer at a you know cheaper price point but some of them I just haven't been able to find 
and I think maybe this year I'm going to try and find some good alternatives at affordable price points for these. I would love to hear what your hair favorites were below and my next video is going to be like body care and fragrance and I hope you like this video. If you did, I would love it if you would hit subscribe and I will see you in the next video.